there were only a couple things that I found that I could, uh, I think I can uh, remedy. One is I want to, well, first of all, uh, is there any Duke of Sinai right now? So transfer this girl to him. Um, also, Wallachia, she's still alive. She's older than I am. She's 84. How? How did she survive to be 84? Her son is 61. Her great granddaughter is 24. Her great, she has great, great grandkids. This five-year-old is currently the one in line to succession. Anyway, um, there was a duchy over in India that I could create. And I'm going to first give it to one of my other vassals, Georgia. Uh, I can't even, I can't remember what it was. Uh, Dwara Smudra. There we go. And we'll create the duchy. Grant it to him. Um, and I need to wait on a city being constructed before I transfer uh, the Duchy of Kiev to, uh, or the County of Kiev to uh, the Queen of Wallachia. Um, my vassals are still tearing Sweden up. I had an idea about Norway. So, uh... Norway is ruled by a Christian 13-year-old. But, uh... Because he's Christian... I can claim just a lot of Norwegian land. Anyone who's Christian in his realm, in fact, will have their land claimed by me. Because the Pope loves me. We have a Hindu uprising. I'm Daros. I think that's the last one um, that I can claim from Norway, like that. There's an infidel in my court. Denise Lanick. Sure. And this a woman accused of witchcraft in Orbitella has been dragged before your court. Throw her in the dungeons. Okay, um, and now we declare a war to press all of our claims. I hope that I am hostile to this guy. If not, I'm going to be disappointed. Oh wait, was this was this one? No, I have to usurp that one. Okay, we'll take those guys up there.
Paying your passage. I'm not going to say I believe the stories, but we have picked up some promising information, my lady, Despot Alexius III says. However, we could do with some more supplies if you, we are to journey uh, even further. In fact, I would like to send word to hire scouts in certain more distant regions uh, if we are to follow the leads and continue this mission. He pauses at the door, his posture strength. Of course, there are other ways to reach eternity, he sighs. Uh, when you open your mouth to respond uh, indignantly, he interrupts you. I suppose the attitude comes with the job, mistress. My apologies. Your perpetrator exits the room, his steps growing fainter as you consider your options. So send word to the whole world if I need to. Fine, I'll spurs up the armory. Or maybe he's right, I'll, I'm not a believer either. Okay, um, I'm going to send troops to the whole, to the whole world, I guess. Who's this? Small under revolt. Why are they in my land? Um, I'm going to go and take my army up here to help Lithuania out in their war with Sweden. That is. We have these troops in uh, Nadaris. How long until Lithuania? Seventy nine percent in favor of Lithuania. Hostile to this guy. A sudden shooting pain strikes your chest. After a moment of agony, it passes. For now, chest pains. Uh, young Aldona has finished her education in the ways of faith and learning. I notice with pride that she has attained nothing less than mass for long. Okay. Sophie is worried that I'm developing smallpox. I'm glad I hired Sophia. Alright, um... Anything else Norway holds that I can take? Also, how is their war doing? 95% in favor of my vassal. Okay, these guys are going there, those guys there, everything should be fine. The sudden gurgling and feeling of pressure in your gut is all the warning you have before you are forced to make a dash for the privy. Diarrhea. Uh, she's, some girl has become an underhanded rogue. When does this... City finish October 31st of next year. Okay. We just have to hold out that long. Two days there. Uh, there's a Slavic revolt on the Tarkins. I have a cough. Seventy six percent war score. Okay, he wants out. I can usurp the Grand Chiefdom of Norway and the Grand Chiefdom of Pomerania. I should do both. 
as soon as possible. Go elective monarchy on both again. And uh, once again, destroy both. I can upgrade this to a castle. I can upgrade to this to a castle. And upgrade to a castle. See of Trondheim. Alright, um, just grant him the county of Nadaros. Can I, I can actually make the duchy, so it's great. Uh, Dal is its own thing. I think oh I, sh I shattered the realm so that's great there is no more Norway okay so these guys are docked there guy as well. Are those... Okay, right, we upgraded them to feudal. Um, I'm tempted to give it to Aragon again, but uh, I'm going to go with Nubia, unless they're in a civil war. Uh, kind of. You know what? I'm going to go with Croatia. No, again, uh, Aragon. Uh, yeah, Nam at all was the one. And the Duchy of Nadaros. Aragonian Liberation of Smolensk. Oh, I hope they win that. And let's see if we can declare a war on any of these guys. That's the former king of Norway, so we can't declare a war on him right now without breaking a truce. But we can declare a war on this guy. Oh, he didn't... Okay, it's day one. He hasn't had time to... Um, join the defensive pact. In honor of the Empire's recent victory, it would be appropriate to hold a triumph in the capital for the heroic soldiers who fought in the campaign. Yes, a glorious triumph will be held. He thinks he can run away funny. Mighty triumph is held at the Hippodrome to celebrate the brave generals and soldiers who fought, who brought defeat to the enemies of the Empire. I have cancer. The court physician Sophia has come to you and offers treatment for your illness. As long as you know what you're doing. I actually feel better.
this mortal coil. In spite of all his efforts, Despot Alexius III's search for information on how to prolong the life of his mistress has turned up fruitless. Disappointment is written all over your face as you rise to leave the council meeting. He avoids your gaze for months, but he's not the only one. Wherever you enter the room nowadays, people grow quiet. The rumor says you're dying. In a sense, it is true, but aren't we all? You, t you still have trouble sleeping. Was life always this awkward? Consider firing Despot Alexius III. It would feel good, wouldn't it? castle and just give it right over to this guy. Is that all of Norway? Ah, uh, no, we're one duchy short, I think. Yes. But, uh, it looks like Lithuania won their war. Uh, Jillen might lose theirs, though. Slander war for Yamplin. And the Scanian Holy War for Western Gothia. Eleven oh nine is when I can declare my next war on that. And it looks like uh, my vassals have are going to be finishing up the wars with uh, the Umayyad remnants. Apostate has found. She's proclaiming allegiance to the old Christian, throw her in the dungeon. Um, my second grandson needs an education. Come on. Let me die. I'm infirm. I'm stressed. I'm possessed and I have cancer. I'm 65. Somehow, though, I continue. Um, the Maharashtras have won. I can usurp the kingdoms of Gujarat and Rajputana. Why not Sistan? How about could you start that at one point? But okay, I have an idea. First of all, the Raj of Lahore. Um, and we will give it to one of our vassals. I'm not even sure what the county it is, what county it is. Bear, okay. It is always the person at the bottom of the list, so I don't know why I was thinking it was someone else this time. Just didn't sound like the same, the right person to me. Um, Galicia is winning their war. We have a truce with them. That's a small kingdom. Okay. 
What's the stand look like? 5.5 5 All are assaultable Let's go for it Oh wait, 11 is one I can declare war without breaking truce. Of course. Learning all Eastern rulers' opinion of me by. And I would sacrifice just over, I think, half of my prestige by doing that. Prestige above a certain number is meaningless, and even half of mine is still. Let's do it. Holy War for Sistan. Break truce. Um, and I'm going to be bringing a bunch of my troops in. over here relatively close okay those guys will go there probably we'll need them there and I want these guys to have the organizer so that they get there faster and stop taking attrition as soon as possible wait a minute I can actually probably make them stop taking attrition You know what? It's fine. So we'll all lose some guys. Okay. Um, people are about to arrive here. Need a new marshal. Go with the despot of Bavaria, I guess. It sucks that he's not going to have any kids, and uh, it's basically going to leave. Um, basically, going to leave a lot of my vassals without a liege. So we might have to divide up Bavaria's realm among our existing vassals. Okay. Throw the apostate in the dungeon. Uh, let's assault there. We might actually not be able to... No, we, we took it. That's fine. <laughs> 20 days on an assault there. We're still going to try the assaults here, even though we lost a lot of troops. Yeah, I'm glad I moved them in there.
All right, uh, 14 days there. Split these guys in half and separate into each of them, except he wants out. He surrenders. I can now usurp stuff. Raj of Sistan, absolutely. Followed by the... Okay, the Kingdom of Sistan is the last one I want to usurp. Gudra is the first. Padahara and the Kingdom of Sistan. Which... We now have very few... Uh, we now have a lot of small Indian uh, enemies to deal with rather than a giant one. So if I had uh, saved, if I had uh, usurped the uh, kingdom of Rajputana last, um, which he still held land in, I think, then uh, I wouldn't have been able to, if I had saved it for last, I wouldn't have uh, been able to usurp it because it's a primary title. It would have been his primary title. He would have still held land within, I think. And uh, I'm pretty sure anyway. And uh, if someone of another religion holds, still holds land within it, uh, and it is their primary, their last primary title, you can't usurp it. That's my understanding of that rule anyway. So, uh, usurp it last. Weren't these all primogeniture? So they just revert to Gavelkind and I have to change them again? Alright. Destroy them all. <laughs> so, um, that pretty much fractures the last threat to me, aside from Tibet, China. Uger. And, uh, I mean, everything else is kind of just, uh, in the way at this point. Uh, Mordvinia is just a pain because they have, they're a bunch of duchies that I need to conquer individually. Um, Tarkin's also a pain for the same reason, and they're a horde. But, uh, Let's give out the land in the Duchy of Sistan before anything else. Um, he looks like a decent ruler. Give him the county of Fara. And I'm actually willing to go with, wait, why is the Despot of Mauritania a really weak guy? Anatolian claim of Mauritania. Okay. Um... I don't know how they did that with uh, Vassal Wars being illegal. Oh! Well, that explains it. It's not. We're turning that to external. Um, and Mauritania is not going to get those. 
So I'm guessing Anatoly is probably the strongest realm I have, or the strongest vassal I have. Except they're not. How is Anatolia not? 13,000. Okay, they're they're up there. But Greece is still the strongest because they control Sicily and a majority of Greece. And they've also taken the Kingdom of Cyprus. Jesus Christ. Um... He's not really good at any council positions. I guess I'm going to go with the... This guy to get the... This duchy. And, uh, I think I'm going to be declaring war on all of these little, uh, vassals now. He's, I'm probably, this is the one that was the king, right? No, it wasn't. He might form his own kingdom if he has enough land. I think he does actually have enough land in Delhi. Um... But Delhi is... I don't know. Uh, he could usurp the kingdom if he... I think he would have to... Wait until he's... Until this king's war is over. And I think at that point he's done. Um... All right, I think I'll start in the west though and move my way east because Herat is one, that's two different duchies. Um, does Gontara have any other duchies? No, they have a lot of duchies. Um, Yeah, it's uh, just a lot of small wars that I need to declare now. Um, and then I will have a majority of India, if I don't already. Um, then I'm on the dynasty page, uh, tree rate, uh, map mode right now. Tibet might be a tough nut to crack. If I can request an invasion uh, once I have... Uh, 5,000 grace, then that might make it easier. But, uh, I think I need to focus on, uh, Morvinia and, uh, the, I don't know, Permian and Finnish miners, as well as, uh, Tarkan, and, uh, start pushing into Uyghur as well, because, uh, they are... They're going to take a lot longer than um, the other ones, I think. We'll just have to wait and see.